Hi, I'm Epak and in this video I want to help you complete the main story for time on Frog Island. To repair your ship you basically need two planks, a wheel, a rope, a rudder, a sail and of course your plant. Let's start off with the easy ones. The two planks that you need you can basically find in the water right next to your ship so just pick them up and place them on your ship and that part is already fixed. Next up you may also want to go get your plant. Now it was basically stolen by the artist so just give him a bottle of booze instead and well you will get your plant. That's easy. But now we're going to start with the hard part. Now before we start I need to mention something important. We are going to be talking to a lot of NPCs and on the very first day after your arrival, so after a good night's rest, you are basically going to find a specific NPC and he's going to be panicking. Typically this is going to be the merchant or the blacksmith and they are going to look for their tad pup. So it is basically their tadpole dog and basically you are going to find him in the most southern part of the east island. So just go to the most eastern side of your island where you are on right now, jump over the sandbanks and you are going to get to a different island. In the most southern part of that you are going to find a very specific beach, a very small one and you are going to find a dog over there. So just pick him up and bring him all the way back to the town and now the NPC will stop panicking and you can actually just continue getting the items you need to fix your chip. The rope you can get from the fisherman, but of course he wants something in return, a feather. Now the feather you can get in two different ways, either by trading with the sheaf or by heading to the west island where you can find it among dodo birds. Now unlocking the western island is going to take a lot of time and you're going to have to help the carpenter with his entire storyline. So I am not going to really suggest doing that, but if you want to go that way I will explain that a little bit later on in the video. Right now we're going to be focusing on the sheaf. Now the sheaf is hidden away in the barracks in the middle of the town. Now first off you need to get rid of the guard, so just simply talk with the guard and he will ask you to deliver a letter to the artist. Bring the letter to the artist, give it to him, then he's going to give you a letter back and just bring it to the guard and after that, well the guard is going to go, you know, be lovey-dovey all with the artist. You will actually find the sheaf laying in his hammock and he will want a wet flower. Now you can find a wet flower only in the eastern island while it's raining. So during a sunny day it will resemble a sunflower but while it's raining it will actually become a wet flower. So once you actually got it just bring it to the sheaf, you get your feather and bring it to the fisherman and he will not only give you the rope you require but the day after you can also start fishing with his fishing rod if you wish. The sail that you need to fix your boat you are going to get from the artist. Now he will want a blue colored grub for it so basically you need to go to the farm Take a blueberry and bring it to where the grubs are. Now there are a bunch of them about southeast from the town on the male island. So just drop a blueberry near a grub, wait till one eats it and then pick up the grub and bring it to the artist to get your sale. In case you can't find any blueberries at the farm that because there are a lot of crows eating all the crops, we basically you just need to collect all the three scarecrow heads. Now in case you haven't collected them all just yet, I will leave a link to my guide in the description down below, right below the like button. Now the wheel is going to be the hardest one to get in my opinion. You are going to get it from the merchant but once again he expects something in return. Now the merchant will only give it to you if you give him the lantern from the hermit. Now the hermit is about halfway up the hill so right behind the town. The hermit will basically want you to do two things for him, each on a separate day. Now first off he wants you to remove the bell from the church, so just go south from the hermit, jump on the bell tower and remove it. But don't put it away too far because probably the acolyte is going to ask you to replace it once again on the bell tower a little bit later on. The day after the hermit is going to ask you for an ice brew. Now the problem with creating an ice brew is that you actually need an ice flower and that's a little bit more difficult to get. For this you need to go further up the mountain past the hermit. But you shouldn't do this just yet as there is going to be a door along the way blocking your path. First go to the east island, jump over the sandbank to get there and not drown along the way. Go to the most northern part of that island and you will find a purple crystal. With this purple crystal you can actually open a mysterious door. So just go back to the main island, past the hermit, up the mountain and just open the door. And once it's open just climb the mountain to, all the way to the top. At the very highest point you are going to find three ice flowers, so just pick one up and go back to town. In the town you are going to find a tavern keeper and he's going to explain to you how you can actually brew an ice brew with this ice flower. You will need to wait another night, but in the morning you will get an ice brew that you can give to the hermit. And he will give you his lantern that you can give to the merchant and you will get a wheel in return. So we finally got everything! 
but now that we have installed the wheel, suddenly our captain realizes that the rudder is broken. So now we need to go get a new one of those. Now, luckily the blacksmith can help you with this as all he requires is one piece of iron. But unfortunately the road to the cave that holds it is blocked off. And for that reason we need to help the carpenter. The carpenter is basically looking for two tools. The first day he will be looking for a saw, which you can find in the forest northeast from the fisherman's house. And if you can't find the carpenter to give him his saw as he will be moving around, just look close to his house that is located east from the town. Now the day after you return him the saw, he will be looking for his hammer. So you can just find this in the southeastern part of the main island on this small little pier. Return it to the carpenter who is cutting down some trees east from his house. The day after you give him the hammer, he will start working on the bridge to the western island. So that way you can actually access the dodo birds if you want to get a feather that way. But in the meantime, behind those trees he was cutting down, you will actually find the cave that holds the piece of iron that the blacksmith needs. Give him a night to create the rudder and now you've got the final piece to fix your boat. Now you can just start sailing off again to a different adventure or a different game. Or you may just choose to complete a side objective next. How about you complete the ritual next? Just check out this video right here, but don't click on it just yet. Be sure to subscribe if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over there.